Hi, so we're going to show you the problem that I'm having with the Yongnu 568EX flash unit. Um, on T-tail mode, uh, it's uh, not firing properly, and on manual mode, it's only coming up as full power. So I'm going to show you triggering it remotely uh, with the Yongnu triggers and receiver, uh, how that comes out. So we're in... TTL mode, okay, got my trigger turned on, it's on group B which is what I'm on on here, group B, I'll turn off group A just so that we know, okay so there's only group B shown at uh, one thirty second power, okay so I'm just going to show you how that comes out. Okay, so the flash went off, but this is the resulting picture. It is dark, there's nothing there. So we change the flash mode into manual to one, 128th power. Okay, so should barely be lit, and that comes in at completely and utterly blown right out, 100% power, as you can see they barely make out the back of the flash. So that's what happens when we're triggering remotely, we'll now turn it all off and we'll go on camera just so that you can see what happens on camera. So on camera flash now, turning it on, so we're showing, we'll go back to 128th power, okay, shooting at the same subject, okay, completely and utterly full power, I don't know if you can make it out there, see the histogram all the way to the right hand side and no detail whatsoever uh, and then we'll go on to TTL mode for the same shot no change to settings and now even though the flash did trigger it is not illuminating whatsoever the subject uh, so that's the 568EX and just by way of comparison I've got the 565 unit, if you can see that, 565 unit of the same brand and we'll just do that the same process. That's on group A, so we'll switch that to group B, group B1, um, manual mode at 128th power. Just get rid of this one. Trigger up on the top. Okay, so group B again, and we're on manual 128th power. Okay, and you can clearly see histogram is there, and that the subject is illuminated okay and then we'll go on to the TTL mode on here and this is the same positioning at uh, 1 32nd power probably going to be a bit too bright but you'll get the general idea that it's firing I do wrong there. It's not turned on, that's why.
Just let that one come through. Finish charging. And so many of these test shots, my batteries will be. More batteries. Okay, pause there and we'll just change these batteries over. Okay, so swap the batteries over. Uh, it's fully charged again now. And uh, this is a comparison. Remember, this is now the 565. Same subject on uh, 30 seconds of power. Uh, so expect it to be bright. It is bright, definitely bright. Got my blinkies on, but it's not completely blown out other than how I'd expect it to be. So, if you want to see it working correctly, then we'll just reduce that power right back down again. Okay, and we'll just do one more for you. Okay. So there you can see a correctly exposed shot. There you go, perfect exposed. Okay, so that just goes to show that it's not my equipment. It is the 568 that uh, has got a problem regulating its power, uh, i.e. it's not. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to sort that problem out. That's Steve from Steve Nolliver Photography. Thank you.